Hello friends, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use timers. So, let's look at the example first. Example 28. When switch 1 is on, lamp 1 will be on for 10 seconds and lamp 2 will be on after 10 seconds. So, in this case, for switch 1, we will use a normally open contact. And then, to turn on lamp 1 for 10 seconds, we will use a timer known as TP, that is time pulse. And for lamp 2 to be on after 10 seconds, we will use a timer known as T on. So, let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep Read Protection as Inactive and Write Protection as Inactive and then click on Apply. Then I will go to Configuration tab. So here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configurations. I will click on yes. So the device or logic controller I am using has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. Then I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMS2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for the example. I can also click on this option for a full screen mode and then I can also zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert one normally open contact here and then a coil. So I will assign address to the contact as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as switch 1. Yes. And then I will assign address to the coil as Q. 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as lamp 1. Yes. Then I will insert a functional block timer here. And then I will change the type as TP. And then I will change time base as 1 second and preset value as Yes, it means that when switch 1 is on, lamp 1 will be on for 10 seconds. Then I will insert one more coil here and then I will insert one more functional block timer here. And then I will click on this option and then draw a line like this. I will assign address to the, this contact or sorry coil as Q 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as lamp 2. Yes. And then I will click on this timer and change time base as 1 second and preset value as and the type of this uh, timer is T on, that is delay on type. So, when switch 1 is on, lamp 1 
will be on for 10 seconds and lamp 2 will be on after 10 seconds. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. I will go to programming and full screen mode. So when I turn on I0.0, that is switch 1, lamp 1 will be on for 10 seconds and lamp 2 will be on after 10 seconds. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and lamp 1 will be off and then lamp 2 will be on. So I will exit full screen mode. I will go to commissioning and stop simulator. Then I will go to programming tab and full screen mode. So I can also implement this uh, ladder logic in two ranks. So I will select these and then cut. And then I will add a new rung here. And here I will paste it like this. And then I will insert normally open contact here. And then I will draw a line like this. Then I will delete these lines here. Then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.0 that is switch 1. So when switch 1 is on, lamp 1 will be on for 10 seconds as we have used TP here. And also lamp 2 will be on after 10 seconds as we have used a timer known as T on here. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. And then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. I will go to programming and full screen mode. So when I turn on I 0, 0.0 that is switch 1 lamp 1 will be on for 10 seconds and lamp 2 will be on after 10 seconds so 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 lamp 1 will be off and after 10 seconds lamp 2 is on it was all about this video thank you for watching